hey guys welcome back to it's about everything in today's episode i'm going to show you how you can fit led mc pcb the dob version on this led bulb and make it to work again mc pcb stands for metal core printed circuit board and dob means driver on board direct on board or in other terms driverless as well this is the mc pcb that i was talking about as you can see it has the driver on board the working principle of this board is very simple the power goes in through these pads and then it goes inside the full bridge rectifier and after coming out of there it goes in to the SMT LED chips. Here a 1 mega ohm resistance R1 is soldered maybe to protect it from high voltage spikes but I'm not sure. After that the power goes into these 20 LED strings which is separated in two rows of 10 LEDs in the left and right. I don't know whether you can clearly see it or not. The LEDs are divided into groups of two LEDs connected in parallel and each group is connected in series so these two leds are in parallel connection and these two are also in parallel connection but these two groups are connected in series both the strings of 10 leds keeps on connecting series and parallel and goes around the mcpcb and connects to the chip in the other end the chip is connected in series with the smd leds here a capacitor is connected in the input and output of the chip whose value i don't know as it's not printed and a 12 ohm resistor connected across pin 1 and pin 2 of the chip the chip is df 6811 ec and when i looked online for data sheet i was only able to find some chinese written pdfs which i don't understand at all this ic is in a small outline package with eight pins Pin 5 to 8 are all connected together and are inputs of this IC. Pin 1 is the output from the IC. Pin 2 is connected with a 12 ohm resistor R2 to the pin 1 and R3 has empty pads which is in parallel with R2. The resistance R2 is most likely for voltage regulation and probably this module is a universal module which can be used for low voltage LEDs as well. For additional protection I am also going to use an MOV or metal oxide resistor. MOV is actually a voltage dependent resistor or its resistance changes according to the voltage applied. It will absorb high voltage spikes and save the LEDs from destroying. I am using 07D471K MOV which has a voltage limit of 300 to 350 volts. Now without wasting more time let's get to assembling all this. Now as you can see I have all the components ready to be assembled. First thing that I am going to do is connect the wires to the base. Best wire to choose here is the one which has only one lead in the core. After soldering the wires make sure to produce a large deposition of solder on the terminals so that it can make an easy contact with the holder. Now that the wires are connected I am going to fit the MCPCB on the heatsink. I am using a lot of heatsink grease here for better thermal conductivity plus when I am tightening up the screws the excess will flow out of the sides which is not a big deal. You can use any type of screws here because it's soft aluminium and the screws create their own thread all the way in. Just don't over tighten them or you will cut the threads. Here I am using a small piece of fiberglass sleeve for the wires to go through. This MCPCB is really hot and I don't want the wires to melt and create a short circuit. After that gently insert the wires through the middle of the MCPCB module and pull it out from the other side. Using light pressure press the heatsink cup inside the bulb body and make sure it's nicely placed. Now I'm going to solder the MOV. Bend the leads of the MOV and then solder it on the input terminals of the MCPCB as shown on the video. Now I'm going to solder the wires in the MOV leads. In this way the wires stays away from the hot LED module and thus no chance of melting or shorting. Here you can see how I have done it and this is the way I find very useful. Don't worry about the odd looks because once the diffuser is fitted it won't be visible. Now let's give it a test by plugging it to a 220V AC outlet. Here I am using my series connection tester on direct connection mode. As you can see the jumper wire on the 2 pin socket right next to the switch. So if the LED shorts out, my circuit breakers are not going to like it. So keeping my fingers crossed, let's turn it on. So far so good, no circuit breaker is popped. So I can say it's a success. I checked the voltage of each LED and it's 16 volts DC. So 
four or five LED chips in each SMD packages and the power that is going inside the chip is 34 volts. So that concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so then hit the like button, share it with your friends and if you are new subscribe to my channel. I will be seeing you soon. So have a nice day. Bye bye.